So Gates is a new module from VCV from the so-called Fundamentals Collection. It's great for processing Gates and you can do so many different things with it. I want to show you uh, today a few different sound design ideas you can try to add some character and crunch and grittiness to your sounds. Um, I'm going to go quickly through this module. If you already know this uh, module, if you know uh, how it works, you can jump ahead. Um, but let's go quickly through it just to see um, how it's working, right? So there is a gate input and a few outputs. For example, from the gate output, we will um, get the same gate, but we can change the length of the gate. So here on the trace, you can see the yellow trace is the original gate coming from the sec3 and the blue trace will be the processed um, gate right and with the length knob i can change the length of this gate have a look at the blue trace right there is also a cv input for this which is quite useful then there is the gate delay from the delay output we will get the same gate but delayed again by the amount here we can set with the length so again this will be the blue trace so if i delay it Right, you can see that the yellow trace starts here and the blue trace starts a bit later. Right, again, we can delay the gate. Then we have a flip flop, which will basically alternate between two outputs, between the flip and the flop with each gate. Um, life is nothing but a series of flips and flops. <laughs> right, so with each gate, you can see the flip and flop will alternate which will also basically mean that it's dividing the incoming gates in two. This is a hint, right? So again, with each gate, you can see this quite clearly. It will alternate between the flip and the flop. And there are also the triggers outputs that will basically convert the gates, the incoming gates into triggers once when the gate goes high when it goes up and once when it goes down right so this was really quickly and a sort of an overview of what this module can do for gates now let's have a look at a few sound design ideas so the idea here is instead of using gates we will use audio rate signals the actual voices themselves for the gates module to process and this will add lots of grittiness and character to the sound so here i have a patch uh, of course it will be available in the description for you to download i used only three available modules so all of you can download it and experiment and have a closer look as well so here i have zoom a this is the main sequence i'm using from bido right um, it's sequencing the fm operator which is going through some delay it will sound like this right so this is one voice by the way i'm using the teleport modules from little utils also available for free just to um, teleport the patch cables so there are not patch cables everywhere going in the patch and it's a bit uh, um, easier to see what's going on right so this is the first voice and here i have a chain ready that i will use so the fm operator after the delay will go then to the gates module right to the gate input just because it says gate doesn't mean we have to use only gates we can use also audio rate signals and this is something i always encourage trying using audio rate signals for all sorts of different things right so this is going to the gate input and now i will uh, i'm using the gate output and if you remember we can change the length of the gate with the length knob which will create these sorts of um, pulse width modulation type of sound because we change the pulse width the gate length right so it will sound like this right this is the same voice after the gates module and now again i can change the length of this of the gates Right, creating this sort of let me show you this on the scope creating this sort of pulse width modulation you can see we actually we turn this audio rate signal we turn this um, continuous signal into a binary signal that is either on or off into gates right and again we can change the length and we have a cv input so we can also modulate this heavy an lfo that i'm going to use
right? So we create, can create a nice uh, sound. Now something to uh, keep in mind here, um, if you have a look on the scope, you will see this signal is unipolar. The original signal is bipolar, um, but this one is unipolar. Now it's good practice, at least in my opinion, to have audio signals um, to be bipolar and not unipolar. In this case, it goes from zero up. Um, but we want a signal that goes in both ways to both poles, right? So something really easy we can do, we can use the also a bit um, new module from VCV, the CV mix, right? To offset this signal basically to be bipolar. So if we open the first attenuverter all the way, we will have the same result. But then the second attenuverter will offset this signal so we can offset it down, but let by let's say in this case negative five. I'm not so sure why the CV mix is working in a percentage, but we have to enter negative 50%. Right, and then we get a bipolar signal, as you can see here, right? Again, it's just good practice, in my opinion, to have audio as a bipolar signal, but you don't have to do this, you can skip this step. Right, and then what we can do, I can get rid of the scope, then what we can do, we can use a filter, for example, to tame this sound a bit, right, every the filter from Bido. Right, and again, continue the chain, we can add also a nice delay here I have with Chronoblob. Right, and if I mix this now with the original sounds, another thing to keep in mind is I have here the levels quite low. This will be quite a loud signal, quite a hot signal, again 0 to 10. Um, so just keep your levels down. And now let's combine this, let's mix this together with the original sound from the FM operator and see what we get. adds quite a lot of character. Right, and this will work great on also for drums. So here I have Tremor 2 as a kick drum from the oscillator part and as hi-hats from the noise parts. Noise parts, noise part, it will sound like this. Now in this case again it's going to the to the gate module to the gates module to the gate input right and in this case I'm using I have a sort of a stereo uh, voice out of this because I'm using the gate output and the delay output which again as we've seen before will delay the signal right and then we can we create a sort of an offset between the left and the right and the sound will be a bit wider in the stereo field. Now in this case I'm using the dual attenuverter from Befaco to um, offset this to be bipolar because I have here um, two uh, ways to offset in one module instead of using two CV mix. Right, so let's listen to how this will sound like. Right, again I'm sending the mix from Tremor 2 to the gate input. And I can change also the delay and the length of the gates. All right? I hope you are with headphones, you will hear it best. Let's listen to this together with the drums. Right? Again, without. It's nice, but listen to this. Right, a bit more character. Another voice I have here is a bass uh, coming from kick all. It will sound like this. Right, and you can hear that it's not quite bassy because what I'm doing here, I'm using the gates module to create an octave down. Right, so I'm sending the same voice, a copy of this voice to the gates module and I'm using the flip flop outputs. Right, and again, as we've seen before, the flip flop will basically divide the incoming signal into two, once into a flip <laughs> and once into a flop. 
Right, and I'm using both of them as a sort of a stereo voice, creating an octave down. This is going through a filter as well. So let's listen just to this for a second. Right? And then together with the bass. You hear the sound we get, of course you can use this not for each voice here, it's a bit exaggerated, but I just wanted to show you on different um, signals. Right, everything. I have them going to a group, the processed sounds, just so I can mute them all together. So let's listen now without the processed sounds. This is nice. But we can make this a bit more with character. Right. Another voice I have here is a snare coming from Tremor. I really like using Tremor as a snare. Right, so it will sound like this. And this I'm sending to another gate. And I'm using just the flop in this case. And it creates this sort of... Um, sort of... Uh, um, bit bit crushing sound right together adding another layer let's listen to everything together i have another example to show you right again without and now with I want to show you another example. This one is how you can turn a bass into a monster bass um, by layering a few processed sounds with the gates module. Right, so the original bass sound I have here is basal mixed with two blicks, modulation coming from oct, right? There is a filter and an envelope, right? I can play this voice with my keyboard. Right, which is a nice sound, but we can make it a bit um, more um, um, crunchy. Right, so I'm, I'm using a copy of this uh, bass sound, I'm sending it into the gates module. Right, there is also some modulation to the gate length, again, sort of a pulse width modulation type of sound. Right, and then I'm sending the gate output into a chorus, this one is from Flag right, and a low pass filter just to tame it a bit. So this will be another layer I'm adding to the sound. I hope you are ready for this. It will sound now like this. Right, again without, and with, oh yeah. And another layer is going to another gates module, right? And in this case, I'm using the gate and the delayed um, output so I can have a sort of a stereo voice, if you will. This is going to a high pass filter and a, a reverb, but not a crazy reverb, just something to add a bit of uh, space. Right, so this will be the final sound. Uh, let's have a listen. Right, this I'm mixing, this can go into a filter if you want. Again, without. And with. Right, just making this bass a bit more crunchy. So again, you can use the gates module a bit for sound design, experiment with it. There is a lot to explore here. There are also the trigger outputs that we didn't use that you can try. 
Um, go explore with audio rate signals, with voices, with all sorts of different things. I wish you lots of fun. Cheers.